I think the, the, the number one issue facing a lot of clients is a pressure to show that marketing uh, can drive brand growth, right? And it can help create a competitive advantage for their brand in the market. Now, the problem is that marketers are not feeling that they are very uh, empowered to do that right now. They, they feel that there is a gap internally in most uh, companies when it comes to keeping up to speed with what data and technology can offer. Um, so I would say the use of data uh, to drive their marketing transformation is uh, the number one issue that they face. Um, obviously related to that is that they Marketers everywhere rely on agencies, right, as an external partner to help them do the job. Um, and there's a strong sense that agencies are also not really meeting their expectations in, in data and technology. I think it's a challenging time for a lot of uh, agencies, and I think that is for all types of agencies, whether you are digital or creative or media. Why? Because of the technology and data driving that change in consumer behavior, right, and consumer consumption of media. The overlap between the expertise of each agency is really growing. So you have what you think is your traditional set of competitors may not be the usual set of competitors anymore, right? And your business model hasn't really evolved. Agencies are still very much charging based on maybe a percentage of clients spent or they are still charging a fee and, and it's still very dependent on human labour, right? So they are not in a very good position to do future planning, right? Because there's no secure income for a lot of these agencies. So they are not able to innovate as quickly as some of the other non-traditional uh, competitors like the, the tech platforms, for example. Well, I guess that is the perfect storm, right? So client now feels that, oh my God, I really need to relook at who I should be working with, right? My entire agency model might need to rethink. I can't just rely on maybe one lead agency to be able to give me the best advice for everything. Um, so in, from our own R3 experience, that's a very big concern. Uh, and that's also driven by a uh, relentless pursuit of efficiency. A lot of multinationals are under tremendous pressure to reduce wastage. Now, you need to reduce wastage, why? Because right now, every, if you, you have $100, you're not just going to spend it in one channel, you have to spread it over so many media, which means that you have a lot more assets or content you have to create, right? But the budget is not growing at the same speed as you know, the, the fragmentation of choices. So you have to find efficiency. You need to do what you have been doing uh, faster and cheaper. Um, and you need to, so that you can fund the new things that you need to test and learn. Yeah, I think I would start with marketing teams themselves. They have to rethink about how they do their marketing. Right? Because a lot of the process right now is very, it's the old model <laughs> of doing TV advertising. Um, so there's a, there's a, they need to relook really at um, the roles and responsibility. Therefore, the, the structure of the marketing, uh, the marketing team itself. And they need to look at the capability in that team and identify actually we are missing some skill set here that either we build or we might have to attract talent from another space. So example, a lot of marketing departments now need to have data engineers, right? Because the traditional marketing people that they have in the team are not very good with analytics. Now, so do they, hide, do they transfer people? within the company, or most of the time, they probably don't have those people, right? So they will have to hire outside. They're not just hi hiring from another marketing company necessarily, but maybe they have to hire people who never did marketing before. But they will come in with the analytics capability, and then they will learn about marketing in the process. So, so I think it has to start with the marketers themselves reflecting on whether they have the right structure 
the right people and the right ways of working. So the ways of working cannot be linear anymore, right? It has to be much more, it has to close the loop faster and it needs to be more dynamic. And once you sort that out, you need to say, now, how do I then work with my external partners so that they are with me? So if you look at the MasterCard example that I shared earlier, um, MasterCard can't do it by themselves. <laughs> Even if they were to hire more people, they need the external support from uh, the, the other partners and they need these partners to understand that this is the new way of marketing for MasterCard. This is what we need to do together. I'm not just going to give you a brief every two weeks or every month. Every day you have to come to uh, my office and work as a team during when the campaign is on air. You know, so it's different to the old ways. We make a very lovely TVC and then job done. You know, you come back three months later. So that, that has to change. I think for marketers, I would say take the first baby step to address the data gap and the analytics capability. And you need to relook at your internal structure and your internal account accountability framework. Second point is create a process that allows you to experiment, fail fast, we call it, right? So, um, so that you can really test and learn at, at speed, right? And thirdly, you, you need to surround yourself with really good uh, agency partners because you can't do this on your own, right? It's a co-creation process. Um, for agencies specific to Vietnam, I would say you have to be brave and say no more often to pitching because I think it's very, it's, it is not good for the long-term uh, business of uh, agencies. Uh, it's also not going to, your, your people will wear out and then they might leave the industry which will not be good for the industry at large. Um, and I think agencies need to be more proactive in wanting to be accountable. So if you want to be a partner, you need to behave like a partner. You can't behave as someone who's just like a waiter taking instruction, right, and orders. Um, and I think the third thing that agencies need to do better is really talent, <laughs> you know. Understand that your best talent is not just going to leave you and join another agency, but maybe another category like your Facebook and all that. So how are you going to, you, you need to really focus on making sure that your good people are motivated to stay.